Hello and welcome to Elementary STEM with Miss Crosman. Today we are going to be making Lego towers and testing them with weights. So for today's activity you are going to need some Legos, a tape measure, and something to use as a weight at the top of your tower to test its stability. Now for today's lesson you need to come up with a challenge of how tall you think your tower needs to be. When I do this in classrooms, we kind of say if you're in first grade, your tower should be 10 inches tall. If you're in second grade, it's 15. If you're in third grade, it is 20 and so on. So increase by five inches for every grade level you go up. Also, you want to really pay attention to how you're building because you want to build straight up. If you start building off to the side, that is going to cause some weakness in your tower so that when you put the weight on the top, your, your tower, if it's leaning to one side, is going to have a tendency to collapse on that side. And if it does collapse, that's okay. This is STEM. It's all about having a failure and then looking to see why it failed and then improving on your design. So if it starts collapsing, really look at where your tower is breaking and that's the point of your tower that you need to change. Now another hint I like to give is I build with a lot of white space and what I mean by that is I do not build a solid brick going up. That will be a very strong tower however it will take forever to take apart and it will take double if not triple the number of Legos building with white space uses. So what I mean by white space is this is my tower and I alternate the direction of bricks and I don't fill in solidly and until I get to the top and I have no other choices. And what this helps me do is when it's time to take it apart, I can easily get my fingers in there, rip the pieces apart. And it takes up less Legos because you can see there's some white space in here instead of just solid Legos. So I'm going to show you how my tower does under the weight test. Now, Typically in my classroom, I have some bricks, regular bricks that you would use if you were building a chimney. Um, and we use those to test as weights. However, I don't have any of those around my house, so I just found something heavy that was in a flat container that I'm going to use. So for today, I have this extra large pencil box and it's full of these magnetic pieces. However, they slide around in here. So I'm gonna try and make sure that the weight is balanced in the middle. This may be something if you don't have a brick around, um, to use a large rock or use a heavy hardcover book, something that will apply a good amount of pressure on the top of your tower. Then we're going to take a look at the tower. So this is my tower I built and I decided I was going to challenge myself and make it 20 inches tall. So one of the things I had to do before I'm ready to test it is to measure it with my tape measure, making sure that it is truly 20 inches tall. Now as you're building your tower, you're going to want to keep measuring it to get to the right number of inches. Um, I decided that I was going to make mine 20 inches tall. If you're working with a metric system, that is about 50 centimeters. I have it built. It is, I've measured it. It is 20 inches tall. When I measure, one of the things, if you haven't worked with a tape measure before, be careful. You always want to start with this part of the tape measure down on the table and then measure up from there. I've had some students measure this way and you don't get an accurate measure because you're cutting off about this much in inches, about three inches off from that. So make sure you're putting the tape measure to the table and measuring up. Now, let's take a look at how my tower does. Here's the very tippy top of it. Now I mentioned it's really important to build straight. I've built mine very straight. However, it's on a slightly uneven surface and I'm putting something very large. I want to center this before I let go, just to make sure the weight is evenly distributed on both sides. And there we go. This is a successful Lego tower. Remember, yours will probably not be successful the first time around. That's okay. If it's not successful, look and see where it broke. Go back and try and reinforce that area. Take a look at why it might be going a certain direction. So if I had one that was kind of hanging off the edge over here and it wasn't even, when I put a weight on top of this, it's going to naturally break right there. And that's what you want to look for, those places that are naturally breaking and then try and fix them so that you can have a tower that can support the weight of something very heavy. Good luck with this one.